The Oculus Rift is a virtual reality headset that features two lenses that enables it to produce a 3D effect by providing two separate images. It also features head tracking, which enables it to track your head in 3D space, providing you the image that you see in the virtual space. It essentially immerses you in a brand new world. A number of students came, they had seen it at a conference and they were so excited and so interested in working with it, I went to our principal and said, do you think there's a chance we could get some so that students could do some development with them? I've always been interested in game design and computer programming, and the Oculus Rift essentially combines my three passions for engineering, game programming, and design into one nice package. What's been really exciting about the Oculus Rift is it's actually spurred the creation of a new class that we're calling Interactive Design. And in this class, students are exposed to 3D computer modeling, game development, and how to integrate the Oculus Rift with those other disciplines. Right now we're working on three main projects. The first is a visualization of our school so that you can do a virtual tour. Another involves working with our microscopy lab where we're taking 3D scans from our electron microscopes. And then finally we're working with Ellis Island to develop a virtual world so that we could take you back to a different time and place while you're at Ellis Island. The program I used to create this model was Autodesk Maya, an industry standard for 3D modeling and animation. So I've been working with it for maybe two, about two years now. Um, I, w I started learning about it because I'm really interested in going into computer graphics and animation. So working through a project like this from start to finish is a really great experience for me. I'm currently responsible for two separate roles, um, programming and the engineering. For programming, I'm responsible for creating the levels, the physics behind it, adding collisions, and creating the lights and shadows that you see in the scene. As for the engineering, I'm working on creating new movement um, interfaces so that you can move away from the keyboard and mouse and instead immerse yourself in the world using your hands and body to move around. We've attached an Arduino microcontroller on top with an ultrasonic sensor. This is going to be the movement. And the sensor works by detecting the distance away from your hand. Depending on how far your hand is, that's the speed that you'll be going at. So push farther away to go faster and closer to go slower. It takes a while to get used to, but most people get the hang of it within a couple minutes. Probably the most exciting part about working with the Oculus Rift is actually being able to see your own work, your own models come to life, being blown up into virtual reality. When you're working with Maya, you can see it obviously on a computer screen, but then when you put on the Oculus headset, you get to see your own work in its own kind of world. You get to create your own universe and then be able to explore it and experience it firsthand. People are now looking at this and thinking, what else can we do? What else can we bring in? And looking at other technologies, uh, software, open source initiatives, and trying to figure out a way that we can bring these in, expose our high school students to them, and let them take it from there and build bigger and better creations.